Hey guys, my name is Abel. Or at least that is what people always call me. I don't like to socialize with people around me. I do have some friends and they are kind to me. One day people at school started talking about this Battleground mobile game series. This is because of it was new in the game season. My phone is kind of crappy and playing intense games like that might cause it to explode. So I browse the internet to find some second hand phones. I want to buy a new phone but I'm out of budget. So I take my shot into the second hand market. After browsing for a while, I saw a phone, LG V35, and it was in a good condition. It is a clearance stock sale, and the seller stated that the phone is relatively good. Besides, he never reset it yet. That's mean I need to reset the phone myself. So the phone was about $40. So I brought it. Around a week later, the phone arrived. I charge it full and browse inside it. It seems like the phone old owner was an office lady. Last picture was taken around one year ago. It had some picture and apps but this phone has still around 80 GB storage left. So I said to myself, well some pictures wouldn't bother me. Besides, this girl is kinda cute. I honestly admired the girl. She looks cute and energetic at least from her videos and pictures. She also have social media accounts, but I will not go into details to protect her privacy. After all of that, I managed to set the phone to my regional SIM card setting. It was a bit of work, but I got it done. Suddenly, a pop-out come. In order to fully guarantee your safety, AU disaster alert need to ignore your location privacy. I look at it and click yes. I said to myself, well this is just my secondary phone. I will just use it to play games. Everything went normal for a couple of weeks. One night when I'm at the library, my phone buzzed brutally, the LG phone. I pick it up and there is a pop-up saying, you are in a dangerous area. Follow the following instructions to guarantee your safety. I look at the phone for a bit, and after that, I heard a heavy object crashed on the first floor of the library. I peeked from the second floor and saw something that might haunt me forever. A creature with a long hair and limb is eating the librarian. I am glad that I didn't scream as my natural reaction. I look at the creature and my phone buzz again. Go to the third floor and use the emergency stair to get out of the building. Do not make any loud noises. I rushed my way to the third floor with the tip of my feet to avoid any noises. Once I arrived at the emergency stair, I heard something is rushing towards me. The emergency alert system started to give me warnings. Run as fast as you can to the parking lot. I do as instructed and when I arrived, the phone started to give instructions again. To the Ford Fiesta car, the door is not locked. I rushed my way, opened the door and slammed it. Locked the door and let down at the back seat. Again, I do as instructed. I heard something outside the car. I didn't dare to peek. Slowly, I began to fall asleep. Before dawn, the LG phone rang. I pick it up and a voice talked to me. Hello, nice to meet you. From my voice, I knew this is the previous owner. We had some conversation, even though we barely understand each other. She allowed me to keep her pictures in exchange of some of my pictures. She wants to be friend. I'm delighted and happy. I almost forgot about the night case at the library. I snap back to reality and no one is outside. When I get out, I saw a police car and a small crowd outside the library. I knew what happened, so I'm not that shocked. When I get to the edge of the crowd, I saw it. It can't be real. A woman with office clothing on, staring at me from the other side of the road. The previous owner. It can't be. 
She is in Japan. Suddenly, my phone buzzed again. 